this makes absolutely no sense. Well, I know. This legislation is bullshit! <laughs> well, the legislation, mate, my phone bill. Oh. Well, there's all these hidden charges and data costs. I mean, I mean, how much would you expect to pay for a phone call? Oh, what sort of phone call? Oh, I don't know. Say you're calling Dom from IT. Why would I be calling Dom from IT? <laughs> Dom from IT is... Get to me! Well, it's just a hypothetical, mate. Well, it wasn't a bloody hypothetical when I took my laptop in to get fixed, was it? You know what happened next? He wiped the data. He wiped the data. He wiped the he data. He wiped the data. He wiped the data. He wiped the data. He took it. And he wiped the data. Well, say so you're calling a different number then. You mean like a 1300 adult phone number? <sighs> no, not a 1300 bloody adult phone number. Because they can be expensive. Yes, but at least they're up front. Now, their terms and conditions are crystal clear. Mm. You are paying for a premium service. Exactly. Well, I've got 27 pages of 1300 adult phone calls right here, but at least they make sense. Hey, hang on. What's that? What's that one there? Which one? That one. That one says 19 minutes. What the bloody hell were you doing spending 19 minutes on a 1300 adult phone call? Can you keep a secret? Oh, I'm insulted, you asked. <laughs> I'll call up. Fully intending to abide by my self-imposed two-minute limit. Well, you don't call them until you're nearly ready. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> anyway, after one minute or so, it becomes apparent that the female in question sounds familiar. Don't tell me it was... Kathy from the cafeteria. I've heard the rumours! Clear as day. Well, what did you do? Well, I said to her, mm. I said, Kathy, we may have regrettably found ourselves in an intimate phone-based conversation, but I am still paying for a premium service. And I expect you to remain professional. And what did she say? She asked me what I was wearing. You little beauty! <laughs> then what happened? It was all going fine mm -hmm. until I brought up a Thursday's a quiche. You did! I did! You did! I did! You did! I did! You brought up Thursday's quiche during phone sex with Kathy from the cafeteria. Well, it was the only chance I had, mate. I mean, I mean, you saw the state of the quiche. How hard is it to make a quiche? Eggs. Bowl. Whisk. Eggs. Bowl. Whisk. Eggs. Bowl. Whisk. Add a little butter. Add a little ham. Mix it. Cook it. Serve it. Quiche. <laughs> so, so how did she take it? Orally. No. The... <laughs> How did she take the quiche comment? Oh, well, she was a little upset. Mm. I mean, I, I told her if she wants to find out how a proper quiche is made, she should join the Qantas Club. Oh, I love the quiche in the Qantas Club. 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 So what are you going to do about your bill? Well, I've had to get a second job to pay for it. What job? Excuse I. Backdoor bencher, what are you wearing? <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Pocket dial. <laughs> well, seriously. <laughs> what, what, no, what are you wearing? <laughs>